Hello and welcome. I'm Bob LaLiberté, Senior Analyst for the Enterprise Strategy Group. I'm joined by my colleague, Senior Validation Analyst, Aviv Kaufman, and Jeff Gowan, Product Line Marketing Manager for Wind River. We're here to talk about an innovative new solution from Wind River that enables communication service providers to more rapidly and cost-effectively evolve to 5G and NFE technologies in order to bring intelligence to the edge, as well as achieve their digital transformation goals. We'll briefly discuss what we see going on in the market and then review the results of an economic value validation that ESG performed on the Wind River Studio solution. This solution could save communication service providers as much as 75% of their deployment and operational costs for their far edge locations. Those savings could certainly add up as communication service providers roll out their 5G services and NFV solutions across hundreds or thousands of locations. ESG research demonstrates that as communication service providers continue to mature their digital transformation initiatives, their top goals include driving greater operational efficiencies, delivering differentiated customer experiences, and bringing innovative new products and services to the market, which would include both consumers and enterprises. So Jeff, before we get into the results of the validation, why don't you tell us a little bit more about the Wind River Studio solution? Sure. Yeah. So uh, Wind River, of course, has been in the telecommunications market for many years, but uh, historically it's been as an embedded software infrastructure provider. So, you know, our name's not going to be on the box that the equipment shows up in, but we do power the majority of 4G and 5G RAN deployments today. You know, there's a massive transformation happening within the telecommunications industry and with uh, NFB and 5G really providing the foundation for new services and use cases driven by industrial manufacturing, automated vehicles, et cetera, you know, we really saw a need for a very robust software infrastructure to fuel this sort of disaggregation and new services that are being deployed. Wind River Studio starts with a distributed cloud. It's based on a production grade Kubernetes cloud platform. And that's based on the open source Starling X project, which compiles best in class open source technology to deploy and manage distributed networks. It also includes OpenStack capabilities so you can run your services in containers, VMs, or both. Uh, to that, we add an orchestration. So that's uh, giving you complete end-to-end -end automation across your entire cloud. We also add analytics. So it's an integrated full stack monitoring of cloud infrastructure and services. So you can really know what's happening in your infrastructure and your network at all times. So altogether, the platform delivers uh, ultra low latency, high availability, security, and flexibility all managed through a single pane of glass. But I think uh, what's more interesting is what you all found in your assessment. So you know, I've read your report, it's very, very comprehensive. I, I would love it if you could share some of the details around that 75% cost reduction that you found. Yeah, absolutely. Aviv, maybe you can touch on some of those key quantitative factors that went into the assessment. Sure. So if you're not familiar with ESG's validation services, our economic validation combines our knowledge of the industry and markets and technologies, along with interviews with subject matter experts and customers. And, and we do this to really understand the savings and benefits that can be derived through the use of a product. So we've done close to 100 of these economic validations, and it's really nice when there's a clear-cut advantage to base the findings on. And you know, for this, we've, we've really found that, that the Wind River solution was designed specifically for 5G and highly distributed environments. The most clear-cut advantage that we found is that Wind River can be deployed at the far edge with fewer nodes, as few as one or two nodes, depending on the performance and high availability requirements. So we compared against solutions based on control plane architectures and design for the enterprise that you know, really require four to six nodes. When you multiply the savings from just simply the cost of acquisition out by hundreds or even thousands of sites, that's savings in the tens of millions of dollars. We validated the results of testing that, that really show that Wind River provides much improved latency between the towers and data center sites. So because that lower latency really translates to increased distance, each data center can cover a greater area of towers. So, so that means fewer data center sites, right? And for, for new deployments, not having to deploy as many data center sites, that could save millions more. That's really impressive. I also know there were a lot of qualitative factors that we reviewed as part of this as well. Could you touch on some of those as well? There's, there's lots of other areas for savings, right? And, and most of these are operational. 
So I think the first is power and cooling, right? So deploying fewer nodes at each edge location. And that really means fewer nodes to power and cool. So for a hundred sites, that could be millions of dollars per year. Wind River uses fewer cores per node to, to do things like management functions. So we found that Wind River only uses two cores. Well, the alternative solutions consume six to 18 cores. You can choose to deploy less expensive servers, or you can choose to deploy the same servers and leverage those unused cores for future applications. But I think the biggest savings comes from being able to manage that entire global network from a single pane of glass. And then you add in things like zero touch provisioning, the speed of deployment and growth, and you know, the ability to remotely update, patch, and roll back sites without going, having to visit the site. So that simplifies lifecycle management for the entire deployment and really keeps your customers happy and connected. And then, you know, you add to that automated intelligence, being able to monitor and remediate things so much faster and you know, all these operational savings add up quickly and, you know, can save millions more per year and helps to lower the risk to the organization. Well, that was great, Aviv. Thanks for the review. And Jeff, thanks for the overview of the Wind River Studio solution. If you're a communication service provider looking for the right 5G solution to accelerate your deployments and also significantly reduce costs while also driving greater operational efficiencies, delivering better customer experiences, and really being able to deliver those value-added innovative services, ESG recommends that you partner with Wind River. For more information on the Wind River Studio and the ESG Economic Value Validation Report, please visit the Wind River website.